All right, so without wasting time, let's begin then. Okay, so this is my WordPress local install. You can set up your WordPress yourself. You can download WordPress and set it up. And this is my WordPress install. Uh, we won't touch the WP admin or WP includes folder because that that includes the WordPress core files, so we won't touch them. And we won't touch all of these files either. I mean, there will be just some files that we may want to use like config uh, where we may have to uh, you know change the WP debug to true so that in case uh, you know if we get any errors that get highlighted at the time of development okay so we'll just deal with the WP content and in WP content you have plugins folder where all of the plugins stay and then you have the uploads folder where all the media goes um, your images videos etc and this is the themes folder so for this project for this tutorial series we're just going to be dealing with this themes folder and won't be touching others so inside of themes folder you can see that there are already two themes available which is 2017 and 2020 um, and if you go and check inside of the appearance you can see these are the two themes available so when we build our theme it's going to show over here okay so let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is basically just create another directory and let's name our theme as Aquila. If you're wondering what Aquila is, it's just the name of a star. I just like to keep it that way for my theme. So what are WordPress themes? So what you can do is you can go on to this theme handbook on WordPress developer.wordpress.org and you can get all of the information about you know what theme is and you know how it works what are different functionalities you can build all of that so basically saying that theme is to do with how your content appears onto the front end so for example I have got this theme activated 2020 and onto the front end this is how the content looks like but the moment I change to another theme by activating 2017 theme you will notice that the content remains the same but uh, you know the look and the feel has changed so basically theme means just like even on your mobile or on your television you can change your theme uh, to give it a different feel and look so it's it's to do with that okay uh, so that's basically for your front end your visitors you know how your site is going to look in the front end and what all themes can do uh, so you, all of this information is listed out like you can have different layouts uh, you know you can have build responsive theme in a two column or three column layout uh, you can specify which device directions make your content visible you can have different typography like font family uh, you can use different design elements so it's all to do with the look and the feel basically okay so what are the themes made up of made of so the theme may include several files but the minimalistic number of files that are required to build a theme are just two first is index.php and second is style.css so index.php is the main template file and style.css is the main style file so let's do that let's go to aquila and just create a php file called index.php and then we'll also include style.css okay inside of index.php we can just say that main template file so we can add a comment like this and then we can make it like add package and we can give the name as aquila okay and then we'll close the php tag because you can write html in a PHP file as well so I will just add a normal H HTML maybe we can just say that it's a WordPress theme okay so that's all we have in the index.php uh, then in the style.css we can actually uh, see how a style.css is built so of course you will definitely have your styles inside of the style.css but there's one important thing you need to add which will be the header of the CSS which will basically our comments so I'm going to copy this 
and then I'm going to paste it here. So what happens is that this is kind of a, you can think of this like a key and a value. So you don't have to touch the left part that is for WordPress. What WordPress is going to do is whatever value you give over here is going to use that value and when you go on to selecting that theme like theme details so it's going to pick up those names and all of the information that you add here uh, and it'll display that onto the details of the theme so let's say in our case it's not 2020 uh, the name of the theme is aquila so let's name that it's asking for a theme uri so i'm just going to put uh, my theme sorry my website which is coreytech.com and probably i may want to write a blog later on let's say where I put information about this theme and I'll just probably have that at Aquila slash Aquila. Okay, who is the author? So you'll put your name, whoever is the author. Uh, you want the author URI, so probably I can have like this. Maybe my information would be available at about. It talks about what is the description. So WordPress blogging theme. Okay, and what are different tags you want to use? So I can use blog, theme, or whatever tags you want to use. Okay, what's the version number? Let's say I want to go with 1.0. What is the requires at least the WordPress version of, let's say, 5.0, and test it up to 5.4 requires PHP let's say 7.0 and let's leave all of this the same and we're just going to change the text domain so text domain is generally used for your translation and stuff so uh, potentially ideally you should keep it the same name as your folder however this could be different so I'll just name it as Aquila okay so I've got my text domain ready so now if I go back and check and if I refresh appearance themes in my WordPress dashboard you'll now know that you'll now see that you've got this Aquila over here right isn't this awesome so you've got the name of the theme which is coming from here then you have the theme URI which is probably when you click on this and then author so author is this and then if you click on the author it'll take me to this URL okay and then the description so WordPress blocking theme tags are being displayed here version number is coming from here and so on right so now I can actually activate this theme so once I activate it and if you go on to the front end you'll notice that we gave the title as WordPress theme into our index.php and that's what is being displayed over here and currently there's nothing it's just empty I mean if I just type like hello WordPress it's just going to appear over there because it's just serving from the index.php awesome so I think you've got like pretty much good understanding of what are the minimum files are required and in the next tutorial we're going to discuss about other files that we can use for building the themes and we will continue with creating the header footer and then we'll jump on to the nav menus etc okay so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already uh, this theme will be available at github at imranitsales slash aquila so you can go ahead and make sure to star my repository and follow me on github if you like my work and you can follow me on Cody Tech on Twitter as well. Okay, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.